Greetings and what's up, everybody? Hope all is well with you. Listen, I want to take some time out in this Bible war conversation, whatever you choose to call it. And I just really want to just say that I really do appreciate you all for being here, being a part of what we do, what is going on. And I want to make sure I just keep my promise and keep my word. I know I did say that we're going to be doing this and we're going to do it for the entire week. And I want to keep my word with it. It's been so much stuff going on and so many things has been pulling me in different directions. I'm uncle daddy. <laughs> and so I have to take care of my kids and everything and stuff like that. Get them off to school, plus manage my business and social media and try to take care of, you know, other stuff that I have going on. So anyways, uh, thank you all so much for being a part of Jive Nation uh, and this team, King Jive Singh. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. Listen, I would greatly appreciate your support by subscribing to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash King Jives exclusives and everything like that. That's where we keep Bible War there and that's where we have our conversations and things like that. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. And thank you so much. Also, make sure you subscribe to King Jive Show and uh, King Jive Show Demario, which is a YouTube channel. And you all can also become a member there as well. And just make sure that you subscribe over there to the YouTube and also the Instagram and things of that nature. And I'm also on Snapchat and I'm on... <laughs> Uh, I am on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I have another Twitter, y'all. Go figure. But anyways, let's just jump right into this. Listen, wanted to really discuss Judas. That's why I really want to discuss Judas. Judas was a character in the Bible that is very, he is a very significant person. Um, Judas was the person that was a treasure. So, I, you know, I got some information on Judas and stuff because the only thing that we know about Judas is that he kissed Jesus, betrayed Jesus, kissed him, and got 30 pieces of silver. But what we don't understand or even think about, Judas was the treasurer for it, and he was a he was one of the originals, and he was a treasurer for the 12 disciples. All right, let's do this. Judas Iscariot was a disciple, one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus Christ. According to all four canonical gospels, Judas betrayed Jesus to the Sanhedrin in the Garden of Gethsemane by kissing him and addressing him as rabbi to reveal his identity to the crowd who he had who had come to arrest him. His name is often used um, synonymously with betrayal or treason. Judas Iscariot most likely means he, he came from the village of Karit. Karit, I think I said that right. But this explanation is not universally accepted and many usually, and I'm sorry, and many other possibilities have been suggested. The Gospel of Mark, so I'm going to give you guys some scripture today. The Gospel of Mark, the earliest gospel, gives no motives of Judas' betrayal, but does present Jesus predicting it at least at the Last Supper. In events, in an event, also described in the later Gospels, the Gospel of Matthew 26 and 15 states that, Jesus, that Judas committed the betrayal in exchange for 30 pieces of silver. In exchange for 30 pieces of silver. In exchange for 30 pieces of silver. Now we're going to go there because that, that's, a, that's a good point to start this conversation. The Gospel of Luke 22 and 3 and the Gospel of John 13 and 27 suggests that he was possessed by Satan. Okay, that's all another conversation. Um, according to Matthew 27, 1 through 10, after learning that Jesus was to be crucified, Judas attempted to return the money he had been paid for his betrayal to the chief priest and committed suicide by hanging himself. The priest used the money to buy a field to bury strangers in, which was called the field of blood, because it had been bought with the blood, because it had been bought with blood money. The book of Acts 1 and 18 quotes Peter as saying that Judas used the money to buy a field, him to buy the field himself, and he fell, hang long, hang long. Um, burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels burst out. His place among the 12 apostles was later filled by Matthias. Let's talk about this. You know, as we can see by so much stuff going on, even surrounding me, a lot, a lot of things and a lot of times you'll see a Judas in your life. You will see a Judas in your life. And as it states here in a lot of the gospels in the New Testament, that Judas... There was really no motive, but Judas decided to sell Jesus Yeshua out for 30 pieces of silver. Okay, so let's do this. Let's ask ourselves, why would Judas sell Jesus for 30 pieces of silver? 
ask yourself that why would Judas sell Jesus for 30 pieces of silver? Jesus made sure they ate. Jesus made sure that they were supplied. Jesus made sure they had a roof. The, all their needs were supplied. They didn't have to worry about anything. Half of them were doctors and lawyers and all kinds of things and lawmakers and stuff like that. So there was no real need for anything. So, and also, if Judas was the treasurer, really, what was really going on to make Judas want to sell Jesus out? That's a good question. What would really be going on to make Judas want to sell Jesus out? There's a numerous of things that could have been going on through Judas's head. If I'm the treasurer and I knock out the main man, then I could take over and all this could be mine. Good point right there. If I'm the treasurer and I take out the main man, then I could get away with everything that's here because I'm over it or I'm connected to it. All right, so here's another point. After Judas sold Jesus out, it also says, um, in Matthews 27, 1 through 10, that Judas tried to give the money back. Because he was convicted in his spirit. He was convicted in his soul. And then after doing that, he tried to give the money back, but they didn't want the money. They got what they wanted. And Judas went and committed suicide, hung himself. At least that's what the scripture says. See, now let's go off into something else. Here is a good point right here. When you do wrong to other people. It may not convict you now, but it's going to catch up with you. The wrong that you do, like intentional wrong that you do to other people, it will catch up with you. Maybe not now, but it will catch up with you. And the sad part about it, like legit, the sad part about it is some people don't even care. They don't care about hurting other people as long as they are satisfied. You have to ask yourself, why did Judas try, why did Judas betray Jesus? Now, mind you, let's think about this. Jesus was the life giver. Am I right or am I wrong? Jesus was the miracle worker. Jesus, oh, Jesus was the man. Why would you want to take out the man? Psalms say he was possessed by a demon. But see, I'm not going to put somebody's actions off on a deity when you have the power. See, the problem is we give evil forces too much power. We, when I say power, we give them too much credit. So if I do wrong, instead of me just saying, you know what, I was wrong, I say, it ain't nobody but the devil. It ain't nobody but the devil. It ain't nobody but the devil. And take evaluation for yourself. If you are wrong, you are wrong. Stop giving power to other things and just say, you know what? I was wrong. I shouldn't have did that. Mm. That was wrong with me. I sure shouldn't have did that. But see, as we have grown up in this church world, we have learned, and it's a behavior that we learn how to take the responsibility off of ourselves and just say, mm, I'm gonna put that on the devil. That ain't nobody. <laughs> That ain't nobody but the devil. No, how about taking the responsibility and saying, man, I did that. Man, I did that. I shouldn't have did it. Man, I said that and I, I should not have said that. Man, I went there and I, I shouldn't have went there. Oh, man, I bought that. I shouldn't have bought that. 
instead of just saying, man, the devil made me do it. Daggone blasted fire, the devil made me do it. No, like legit. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And admit to my own wrongdoings, period. If we look at things, and I look at things even like I go through, the things that I did wrong, I accept my responsibility. I made a long post on Facebook, on YouTube, on my Facebook story, on my Instagram story. I said like this, I accept my wrong in anything that I've done. I entertain foolishness. Yeah, I did. I'm not going to be a Judas. I'm not going to be a Judas to myself. You understand? I'm not going to be a Judas to myself. That's wrong. Period. Anyways, so the gospel of Matthew 20, 26 and 15 states that Judas committed the betrayal in exchange for 30 pieces of silver. Understand that people will do whatever it takes. And they may have a multitude of, of motives. People will do whatever it takes to take you out. But here's the blessed part, because just like Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Here is the blessed part, and we have to put the mirror on ourselves. Just like Jesus had to finish the work, you have to finish the work. When people betray you and lie on you, it's only pushing you to your destiny. Now, that, that's churchy, but we talking, we talking Bible right now, okay? We talking truth. When you are doing and walking in what you're supposed to be walking in and somebody's coming along and just doing little things and nitpicking at you and stuff like that, don't worry. It's just pushing you. Y'all don't like that. It's just pushing you to where you need to be, period. So just say, thank you. And I know you want to get back at them and say all kind of stuff and just, oh, I want to get them back. I want to get them back and everything like that. Don't worry about it. It's only pushing you where you need to be. Period, boo. It's only pushing you where you need to be. If it had not been for the people that have done negative things for you, the lessons that you have learned in the chaos and confusion, you would not be where you are today. Jesus would not have been hung up on the cross between two thieves and taken up on, as the Bible say, your sins and mine. But that's a whole nother topic right there too. Just as Jesus took his betrayal, put in prison, having to bear the cross, walked the streets with the cross on his back, only to be mounted and strung up on a cross. And the Bible also says, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. That's what the Bible says, if I. So remember this, you have to walk the way that Jesus walked, Yeshua walked. Walk the way that Yeshua walked. Because if I walk in his ways, I won't miss a thing. If I do like he did, I won't miss a thing. Y'all don't like that. If I go the way he said go, I ain't gonna miss nothing. But let me tell you the blessed hope in all of this. Let me tell you the blessed hope in all of this. And that is when you do what you're supposed to be doing, when you do what you're supposed to be doing, Jesus even said, he said, learn of me. When you learn, when you've learned of him and your Judas comes, it's not hard because you're leading me on to my destiny. And just like Jesus said, 
if I be lifted up. Don't worry about your sacrifice. Paul said, I die daily. Don't worry about your sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself. Die to this flesh. Die spiritually so that you can grow and be lifted and shine for the Lord. For God Almighty, Yah, shine for him. That's what, that's what matters the most. As Jesus was lifted up, one day you'll be lifted up too. Your name will be lifted up. Whatever, wherever it may be, you'll be lifted up because it is time for you to win more people to God. Win more people to God. It's not an easy chore, nor is it an easy task, but you've got to let your light so shine. Y'all know the scripture, let your light so shine before men illuminate that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Listen, that's my time right now. I am so appreciative that you all are on right now and all of that stuff. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to all of the channels. Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon and also the Instagram. I want to see you guys on Instagram because sometime I'll do a live over there other than on Facebook. But anyways, make sure I see your face. Make sure I see your face in the place. And when you see me, just say, hey, King. Hey, Demario, how you doing? I love you guys. You know what? I'll talk to you later. Bye. It's my prayer that whatever it is that you are trying to get off the ground, God will give you the funding for. I really thought you would shout better than that. The only people who are shouting right now are those who got a big idea but don't have a big budget. But in spite of not having big budget, here's your shout, you got big faith. You have to dream the size of your faith and not think about the number of your limitations. I said what I said.